I don't think I can go ghost. At least not on this motorcycle. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Duke Nukem Forever, the restoration project. Where I'm once again trying to make my way out of dodge here. Let's see if I can actually succeed or not. Oh, that was easier than I expected. Just goes right to the loading screen. Well, you know, loading zone. Oh crap. That's not good. They're just shooting the civilians. Or maybe they're not. Yeah, I don't care if, I, if we broke their concentration or not, Duke. Really hate how the metal casings are just looping the sound effect. Disgusting. Oh, you son of a bitch. Screw this. Bastard. Yeah, screw that. I'm gonna kill you first. And then I'm gonna get rid of that casing sound. Cause I'm getting real sick of that. Really? You already swung it. What's the big problem, huh? Asshole. I just stay down this time, huh? Ah, uh, my balls feel lighter. Damn it. Expect these freaks to come out of nowhere. Damn it. Stacking up again, which is really annoying because it's actually blowing out OBS's volume tracker. There has to be a way to fix that glitch. That supremely annoying glitch. Maybe the bullet casing sound is in the file somewhere and I can just replace it with a blank. Because it is not worth it at this point. There are many games that don't let you hear the sound of casings hitting the ground, and they, they don't need it. Far better than just having it loop in a glitch. In the med kit. Or not, I guess we don't need it anyway. Yeah, I guess power armor isn't the only thing that Duke Nukem dismisses, huh? Okay, we'll just eat an MR MRE. Who needs to patch our wounds when we can just eat shit, huh? Not literally, of course. That would be the Overlord. Now let's see, where do we go next? Probably this way. Yep. Take this. Damn it. Ah, there we go, that's better. If you're aggressive enough about kicking them, you don't have to worry about it. Uh oh. The freaking roach is here. They sometimes glitch out and go invisible. I hate it when that happens. I live, you die. Well, that's that's taken care of, thankfully. Hey, yo, oh, we did it again. Turn it invisible like a freaking coward, aren't you? I thought you would have had. Where? Okay then, Duke. Very nice, I'm getting a lot of stuff from here. Don't really need it though. In half an hour I'll be hungry again. Are you making a joke, Duke? Oh shit. Didn't know he automatically switched to his pistol. Or am I gonna second guess myself into thinking I grabbed it without even realizing it? Oh look, it's sandwiches. There's a lot of food here. Hell, I don't even have to worry about losing health, even if my ego didn't allow me to gain health after killing someone. 
Great game. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs here. I mean, what do you expect? This is a game that was never intent. This is a version of a game that was never intended to be released. Even if you factor into the fact that this is a restoration project, it's still going to be pretty buggy. At least it's slightly more stable than before. Well, I mean, I'm actually overhealed, so... My health is steadily dropping like in the first quake. Probably best if I just get more aggressive as a whole, you know? I gotta rush through this before my health naturally depletes on its own. All I'm saying is it'll come in handy. Yeah, it sucks for him, but what are you gonna do, huh? Authorized personnel only. I guess you need to use this keycard somewhere. Ah, probably right there. How much you want to bet? Is that so? I'm sure it has something to do with wherever I'm going, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run. I've swam with sharks before, so don't mess with me, friend. Oh, this shark is friendly. Or at least docile. I'm not going to assume the shark is my friend, but as long as it doesn't attack me, we're cool. And Duke's right, he was swimming with sharks before. I just assumed the shark would be hostile because, you know, Duke 3D. It kind of had sharks in it for some reason. They were a little bit out of place. I would hope so. Wow, okay. What an idiot. Oh boy. So you can't set them off by firing on them, huh? All I can do is try to maneuver around them. That's so that you have to be careful. Not exactly Duke Nukem's strong suit, is it? But I suppose he's had to maneuver his way around situations before. Or at the very least, maneuver his way around the ladies, if you know what I mean. Ah, that's better. Oh boy. Huh. I'm doing it. I'm only saving as a formality, but... It looks like I don't even need to. I am the best. Oh boy, this might be a bit of a test here. Let's see how much of the best I am. Phew! Now for no reason, ones that move up and down. Does it make any sense? No, not even slightly. But hey, whatever works for you. Um, okay then. Wait, can I just throw things at them to make them explode? That would be nice. Can I just take that guy's flashlight? Because that would be nice. I'm gonna say probably no to both those questions. Darn it. Huh. That worked. Right, I think there were these kinds of things earlier, too, in the casino. It's all come back to me now. Ah, there we go. Too bad the explosion doesn't cause a chain, chain effect. You can only get rid of one of them at a time. Sadly. Ash, okay. Sure, why not? Darn it. Need to get it lower to the ground, I guess. Way lower to the ground, I guess. You really have to be precise for this to work. And precision isn't exactly one of my strong suits. Hell, I barely even have any strong suits to start with. Yeah, I could jump through the rest of them, it's fine. What the hell? Oh shit. Hmm, oh. 
Duh. This just proves that I'm kind of blind. Uh, that's cool. Exit the lady killer casino through the buffet. Wasn't I just through the buffet, though? You know what? Don't question it. Sorry. But even Duke Nukem isn't into tentacles. Huh, that's a different tank. Doesn't even have a shark in it. That's nice. I'm just getting started. You weren't even attacking me and I'll still kill you. Oh shit. I'm not gonna take any chances here. You may not be able to hurt me very much, but they can. Okay, come on, come on. Hey, uh, Duke, would you pick up the pace already? Damn, this is so annoying. Of course there's a new objective added. What wouldn't there be? Damn it. If I can kick them before they even have a chance to attack, I'll be golden. Shit, they've got pig cops. Holy shit, they do a lot of damage. What happens in Vegas dies in Vegas. Huh. Yeah, I guess I should have known there'd be pig cops sooner or later. Always gotta have pig cops, you know. Become serious tradition at this point. Well, they weren't in too many of the games, but everything based off Duke 3D just has to have pig cups. There certainly were some in Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Shit. I got too greedy. Impatient, rather. Damn it. Takes about a million years to change his weapon, Grandma. For the love of freaking... What is with that stupid-ass animation? Damn you. Damn you and your animation that still hurts me after it would logically be over. A failure to communicate. What? How does that quote even make any sense? Yeah, we've got a failure to communicate, all right. You've got a failure to communicate, Duke Nukem. Maybe that's what you meant. Yeah, even if they're cooling down from their attack, it's not over yet. I need to realize that. Sadly. You can't trust the animation. Oh, screw you. That one was on me. Admittedly. Damn it. Really getting sick of that glitch. There has to be a way to stop it. Damn you. Okay, go screw yourself. Son of a bitch. Come on, you bastard. No one messes with my town. Ah, damn it. Go to hell. The tentacle part, mostly. But not even completely. I'll kick you too, if that's what it takes.
Even when you're preemptively kicking them, it doesn't matter, I guess. I forgot just how far... I forgot how far Duke's boot reaches. It's been a while, guys. But you... I'd buy this for a dollar. Be nice. Be nice, it's been a while. And I'm, my brain is broken. Anyway, I guess I have this now. Feck. Time to get the rest of those alien bastards. Damn. Spiders. This wasn't based off of a build that came before it. I would totally call those a ripoff of the Doom 3 spider babies. Is it finally over? Huh. What do you know? It is over. Thank you for playing. Thank you to the rest of the hardworking folks in Mighty Foot Productions. Please enjoy our early WIP copy of Las Vegas Boulevard as a bonus map to explore. You will see we have built out the strip. Put a motorcycle past the first footbridge to help explore. Okay, whatever you say, Duke. Yeah, there was there was some bugs. We built out the strip and put a motorcycle past the footbridge to help explore. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Putting the demo back in demolition. <laughs> okay, I heard that one. Um, how do you move on to that then? You have to specifically go to it. Can't trust anyone. Is that the one? Let's do it then. Looking forward to it. Ah, here we go. Oh, this looks nice. Oh. Okay. Not as optimized as it could be, though. This isn't exactly running smooth on my computer, and I know my computer is a potato, but, I mean, come on. It's not this much of a potato. Hey, relax. I'm not gonna kill you. Unless you start spouting off the tentacles. Maybe this is why it's lagging. That's a lot of vehicles out there. Oh shit. We do have hostiles, don't we? I saw the tentacles, I know what's up. Son of a bitch. I saw the damn tentacles, I know what's up. You think you're gonna fool me? Think again, mister. Oh, crap. Hey, cop. Why doesn't my... Well... What do you know? You can do those without it glitching. Maybe it's just the quick saves. I don't know. Maybe quick saving for some reason causes it to bug out. Relax, lady. Time machine? Duke, I'm Jane Biltmore, a member of the Univive Bay Resistance. I was sent here by our leader, Houston, to update you on the situation. I see. I couldn't. Our time machine was destroyed early in the alien invasion, and I was temporarily repaired enough to send a small group here. The scientists that can completely restore the time machine have been kidnapped by the aliens. Why do we get the feeling that's from Land of the Babes? I know it wasn't from Zero Hour. I played Zero Hour and I would have remembered that line. I know you've got the commander female, but that's definitely not her. Maybe Land of the Babes. Or Time to Kill, but given she talked about their leader, I'm guessing Land of the Babes. Man, yeah, man, it makes the most logical sense, I think. Nice strip, though. Now, if it was only better optimized, because whenever I look at anything, the frame rate just starts. It, it gets a little rough. I'm not going to say it gets that bad, but 
You can definitely tell it's not as smooth. You know what I mean? Like, look, you look at here, compared to that. There's a little bit of choppiness, is all I'm saying. Ow. Unfortunately, there's no health to indicate how well off I am. Unless they purposefully gave you infinite health here. Which I guess would make sense since this isn't finished and it's more meant for exploration. Is that something about in front of the strip you find a motorcycle? Maybe it's that way. Ow. Ice takes poker craps, dollar sluts, free drinks and girls, girls, girls. Free beer, fun, 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 one dollar shots. Well, I guess if you want the good stuff, you have to pay, but if you just want to get drunk, well, that's free. Thanks. Come again. Uh, no problem. Try the new Rage sports drink from Easy Then. Unlike the leading brand, Rage is all natural and doesn't taste like shit. Thanks. Come again. Those do that doesn't look like a soda to me, or sports drink, or whatever. Thanks. Come again. Try the new Rage sports drink from Easy Then. What? Uh, hey, you're looking pretty good. But I think you'd look even better if your ass wasn't so fat. Kiss that fat ass goodbye with Easy Ven's Fat Buster Power Bar. Oh, I couldn't eat another bite. I don't feel hungry. Hmm. Easy Ven brand amino acids contain the latest in biogenetic peptide enhancements. That's right. Only our brand can instantly turn you into a badass. Okay, then. Easy Ven invites you to try the ham sandwich from Sandwich Co. This delicious and nutritious snack is excellent for adults and children alike. All right then. Hmm. I don't feel hungry. That's not food, Duke Nukem. It's a drink. I think you've been piling on too much of the sauce, if you know what I mean. What was that sound? Okay, can you actually go down? Okay, you can. Cool. I was about to say. Huh, neat. Probably don't want to get run over, though. Now, where was that motorcycle? Sorry, pal. It was him or me? And we both know it's not gonna be me. Yeah. Don't you people know how to stop? I got the right of way, motherfucker. Even if I didn't have the right of way, I'm Duke Nukem. I get it by default. The so suck on this. Also, this is a police line right here, so there's not even any cars moving around. Explains a lot. Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted all my ammo on the guys that weren't attacking me. Die, you son of a bitch. Take that. Ah, my balls feel lighter. I'm glad, Duke. I'm glad your ball situation has been tamed. I see the traffic doesn't have any collision data. Wonder if that means the moving traffic would have any collision data either. Not in a hurry to get myself killed, so I don't want to test it, but you know. I'm actually curious how far I can take this. You know what? I've already learned that there is a no clip command which I was going to use on the other levels initially until I realized that there was the restoration project and it came out then obviously my focus shifted towards that well, probably, maybe I could, should try out the other levels that are incomplete after I'm done here because even though they're not really restored this version of the engine could be more stable. 
Not to mention, with the note clip, I could see what lies beneath the scenes and see if there's anything, you know, could be fun. Yeah, there's not too much more to this map. I do love the view, though. It's kind of funny how it looks so much more detailed than the final release of Duke Nukem Forever. If only because it was obviously LOD'd to hell and back. Then again, maybe that was to ensure smooth performance on the PS3. But it still would have been nice if it was a little more detailed. Especially considering the first version of this game is like in the early 2000s, so... You would think graphically that even the PS3 shouldn't have had a problem with it like that. But then again, everything else about the game was made more complex, so I guess it does make some sense. Found the motorcycle. Let's try going with traffic. See if I get run over first. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, here we go. How do I go faster? Let's really kick this puppy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that Vegas. Look at that nice Vegas strip here. How much longer can this possibly go on for? Probably not too much longer. I'll probably hit the end of the world before too long. Yep. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Uh, what the hell is this? I'm definitely not going into a place where I'm supposed to be going into. But it's interesting to see the cardboard buildings here. Uh-oh. Better take some evasive action here. I don't think I can go through the other side. So that leaves us with the one option. Or not, never mind. Oh wait, here we go. Huh. Traffic just disappears after a certain point. I guess that's better than somehow explaining how they are able to get through the edge like that. Oh. Okay, they are ghost vehicles. Hell, I'm gonna go out of my way to get run over by them now. No collision, I was just worried over nothing. You were worried over nothing, I was never worried. I'm Duke Nukem. I've got nothing to fear. Yeah. I was never worried, you were worried. Why do you get so worried over things? It's just silly. Okay, I think I played long enough. This has been fun. Oh, Booty Island. Oh, that's... That's great. Everyone wants booty, alright. Yeah. Circus, circus. Okay. It'd be funny if it said Cirk... Cirk diff circus. You know, circus of the circus. Anyway. It seems there's still more to go for this road, but... As I drive over the edge, I think I'm going to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like Duke Nukem Forever and what could have been its potential at the time. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and rock on. Oh. I can't go over the edge. It just stops me. Well, screw you. What happens if I just go ghost again? Ah, crap. I don't think I can go ghost. At least not on this motorcycle. Ah, oh, man. What a letdown. Ah, crap. Come on. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Frick. Peace out. Have a good one. Oh. It blacks out. And have a nice and pleasant day just kills you. See you later, I guess. If you like what you saw, you can find more of that in these videos right here. If you're a real junkie for video games like I am, then subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already to get your next fix, and a like and a comment are always appreciated too.